How's it going guys? My name is Graham and welcome back to Pathway. I played a little bit of this game off camera just to try and level people up a little bit. That didn't go particularly far. I played like one or two new levels across all the characters. It wasn't a ton. I just went back to old campaigns and did quick replays of them. Uh, I did unlock... Leonora, which I think was for defeating like a hundred Nazis or something like that, and I, had, without even realizing it, I had a team makeup of Natalia and Brunhilda for the last one that I did, and that unlocks Rose, because you complete a campaign with only uh, female heroes or adventurers, whatever you would call it. And so I think I might just try combining these two characters. Leonora, Leonora de Quincy, British amateur archaeologist, flexible supporter, capable with assault rifles, low endurance, low aim. She can actually carry med kits and armor repair kits, so that's pretty damn cool. And then we have Rose Sheffield, the American adventuress, and Mystic, versatile fighter, supporter options, fragile, weak against animals. Uh, so she can have a sniper rifle, which she's actually quite good with, or just a pistol, and then just like a crappy with a knife, I guess. Forbidden lore, may use forbidden lore, an animal lover, uh, so she she does less damage against animals, I'll have to try to keep that in mind. She can only use light armor, so that's not great. I didn't really look at what Leonora's stuff is, just ancient languages. Okay, mm, their, their particular uh, perks aren't that interesting. You kind of just have to hope you end up with things that specifically are going to apply for that. Oh, you're immediately getting upgraded with this, and you can have a better knife. Not bad. Oh, what are you doing wearing that? I'm not even taking you with me, I just want you to not have such a dumpy coat on your back. I'm gonna give Miguel those grenades, because I assume I'm not gonna need them on this adventure. These two characters can't use it anyways, so it's not really gonna count for much. You leave the hustle and noise of Cairo behind you. Before you stretch the lazy bends of the Nile, lifeline of ancient Egypt, the mighty river disappears into the eternal expanse of the Egyptian desert. Here's hoping things go a little bit smoother this time. Mostly I'm probably just going to be a little more cautious. A journey full of hardship awaits you, but you are determined to thwart the insane machinations of the Brotherhood at any cost. The Black Pharaoh must never walk the earth again. I just want to quickly see if there's a single recruit option. There is. It's decently out of the way, seeing as you can only come up uh, this way, so you'd have to go three up and like three back down again. So I'm going to have to kind of play that one by ear and decide if it feels worthwhile as I'm going. Uh, that's probably the only shop I'm going to be able to hit up, so I'll, I'll make my way towards that first shop stop, trading stop, and try and get some extra gear. Grove of Tangled Bushes indicates there was some water here, but there's nothing else. Once I, Now that I'm starting to see some of these repeatedly, I'll, I'll probably read some of them a little more quickly. Over the next dune, you stumble across a dried out river, river bed that runs right across your path. Its rocky edges drop so abruptly that a crossing is out of the question. Annoyed, you drive along the steep wadi until you finally find a flatter slope that allows you to cross. Minus one fuel. Shit, so that move took two fuel. I'm three down already. I'm just at the very start of this. Uh, I guess, luckily, I'm sitting on a lot of money, and hopefully you're selling a lot of fuel. Yeah, just... Bring all that my way, if you don't mind. Ooh. I've never had uh, one of these before. Is this just like a fancy pistol? A German classic, proven a thousand times in the trenches of Flanders. 22 to 27. One of you uses pistols. Uh, it is a worse pistol than what you're already carrying. And I might end up switching her out to a sniper rifle at some point anyways, if I you know, happen to find one. Uh, the battle dress, is that something that you can wear? No, battle dress is heavy armor, so she'll be left out with that as well. Okay, uh, probably don't need to pick up anything else for now. That'll be fine. Alright, let's get these ladies battle tested. You come across a burnt out campfire among some abandoned ruins. A last wisp of smoke rises lazily in the air. The camp looks like it was abandoned in a hurry. What happened here? 
You hear the sound of jackboots behind you. To your dismay, you realize that it's a German ambush. I accidentally clicked off of that a little early, but I have to assume that was the gist of what it had to say. Ah, oh, crap. I don't like being so, so surrounded. A lot of level 1s. Level 1 troops. Hmm. I'm going to place my characters here. Immediately run behind everyone. And then uh, go from there, I think. I was going to run out in this direction, but the, the fourth thing that I don't know where it is is probably back there. Oh, do you know what? I have some ideas for what I can do right now. Double shot right there. Perfect. That went even better than I was hoping it would. <laughs> and I'm going to run you out of there. It just I, I figured I would have both of them attack and then run for cover just to try and get uh, the most out of it. I should try and hunker down. Yeah, this little nook seems good. I think I see another one. Ooh, who'd you spot? Ah, they got a medic type over there. Oh, damn it. That was some poor placement. I should have realized. You can just keep a low profile. Seeing as now I've put you in a position where you're absolutely going to get shot. Nice. The evades are very rare. Misses? happen like quite often the evades are super rare and one of the characters you can unlock is like get a hundred evades where is it uh just 75 i'm still so far away from it i've still only revived one character i was hoping to have this guy uh because i think there's quite a few zombies in this uh campaign or whatever but maybe I'll unlock him on the way and recruit him because he does bonus damage against zombies. So I would like to have him at some point. Uh, ambush, get 10 kills with that. That doesn't seem that tough. I guess if I just had a couple characters on hand that had that ability. 100 uh, knife kills or melee attacks. I'm uh, largely through that, like two thirds. And 25 enemies with double shot. So there, I just ticked one more away on that. I'm over halfway to that one. So that's looking pretty sharp. I think I'm going to take... I guess, I guess I'm taking one covered shot here. I should have ran in. I should have done that differently. Oh, well, that's fine. Because now you are pretty well guaranteed to have a 100% hit chance on him, right? What? Well, in that case, I'm sticking you slightly more open because I want the 100% hit. Perfect. This one won't hurt us any longer. I'm trying to be mindful of like getting these killing blows in, setting myself up for that to consistently be the case. I don't want to leave it to chance if I don't have to. See, like, what? Oh, oh, can I burst fire you two? I can. Then absolutely that's what I'm doing. Well done. 35 on that guy. That was pretty solid. And I might as well just plop you down here. I can go behind here. I'm sure I'll be able to shoot one of them. It doesn't even matter because they're just going to run to a different location they're just going to be able to run to a different location and get a nice, like, open shot on me no matter what. So I might as well just guarantee that I get that one kill in. And you can repair yourself? Might as well. If I keep the armor intact, then it protects her health. And I have more armor repair stuff than I do health repair. So I might as well repair the armor while I have the chance. And I might as well get the knife kill when I have the chance, seeing as that saves ammo and is eventually going to unlock an extra character. So I think that makes the most sense. Well done, team. 100% shot accuracy, even when using like double tap and burst fire and things like that. They were kind of kind of on a tear there, weren't they? And nothing yeah those needles are always good to have fuel is always uh great to have who is it yes you you take a little extra of that oh wow i thought maybe it would max out at like three or something max max size six there you go i somehow never noticed that it specifically lists what the max is now i know
The footprints that led you to the interior of the deserted temple end suddenly. In front of you, the lifeless bodies of several soldiers lie in pools of their own blood on the paved stones in front of a massive altar. The corpses are strangely contorted, as if transfixed at a final prayer to a nameless deity. Suspiciously, you look around. You soon discover small holes in the stone slabs. The soldiers triggered an ancient trap. Rose climbs up onto a stone sarcophagus and cranes her neck. That indentation on the altar can't tell exactly what, but there's something in there. Ah, I thought it was going to be um, like an ancient languages thing. Shadow or improvise. Try to avoid triggering it. Leonora carefully feels her way forward. Step by step, she moves over the bodies. Always careful not to step on a loose flagstone. Looks like she just ran straight forward if you ask me. After a few steps, you hear a faint click. Oh, she triggered the trap. Immediately, a spear shoots out and of the hole directly under her. She's badly injured, but manages to roll away from the trapped flagstones. You treat Leonora's wounds as best you can, but you're no longer eager to discover the secrets of the mysterious altar. Ah, gaping stab wound. Minus eight current health. Okay, that's not like a permanent minus against her or anything like that, but it's interesting. It goes straight through her armor. Oh. I just realized that you... Uh, are sitting completely armorless. Ah, that's because you just have such a terrible, crappy amount of armor. I'm just going to have to get used to the fact that you're probably going to be armorless the majority of the time. Come across a lonely temple half-buried in the desert sand. After a brief inspection, you find the entrance and dare to descend into the depths. As you reach the inner sanctum, you hear a sound behind you and turn around. You see a group of cultists, and it's an ambush. Oh, crap. Oh damn it, it stuck me in the tiniest little corner of the room, surrounded by these things? That's some horse shit. And, okay, none of them are infected, which is good. But I think I really need to set this up that they just need to, like, run out. Like, get the hell out of where you currently are. Ah, uh, I guess before I do that, I should try and, like, burst fire and then run. Ugh. That would have been so good. Alright, do you have a double tap ready? You do. Is that enough to kill anyone? Ah, you can only shoot the two. Alright. Decent. Decently done, everyone. Now it's just a matter of running you away and hoping that I'm not sending you closer. Yep, that's exactly what I was hoping was not going to happen. Oh, shit. And there's a spore. Ba okay, well. Well. Is that everything then? It's That is everything, so at least I know there's none further up here. So if I just stick you way up there, you should be fine. Uh, but I've kind of left... Is this Rose? I think I've left Rose in a kind of a crappy spot. Oh, good. Look how slow they move. That one's for sure going to get her, though. The Spore Bearer might be able to. Oh, you bitch. How dare you. Oh, there are two Spore Bearers. Is that what's going on here? Is that what that is? It must be, right? Oh, wait, well, this is a cultist. Oh, the cultist. Yes, I do kind of hate dealing with those. Do you have a 100% shot? God, it has more health than I thought it would. I'm not too stoked on that. You basically have to shoot that one because you're frozen in space now. Oh, shit. Well, you're not going to get covered no matter what, so I might as well just stick you where you can get the most possible damage on this. I wish I was melee meleeing that shot right now, but that's about the best I can do. Honestly, not a great setup. Uh, I'm not too excited with how cornered she is right now. And she's probably going to get spored again, so she's going to be held further in place. That's actually good. I'm actually glad that you came over here, because that takes some of the pressure off her. Ah, uh, yeah, there's no avoiding that. Oh, damn you. I guess I had, for some dumb reason, good, good. For some dumb reason, I had it in my mind that you could, like, corner a character and they wouldn't be able to get past that. Shit. Uh, I basically need to repair your armor, but your armor sucks so bad. My better bet is probably just to try and kill as much as possible, isn't it? In which case, I need to think of where I can run to that's maybe out of the range of where these things can walk. I really need the cultist dead. 
See, now, now I am kind of trapped. I can't run through this. So in this case... Shit, I need to reload. I didn't realize. 14 damage, that's too much. That's not going to happen. Damn. That's not a good setup at all. Fuck. Okay. Uh, I guess... I guess reload. Because you're going to need that for sure. You might as well repair kit yourself because you're probably about to take a lot of damage on. Even though I would have much rather repaired Rose. And I just need to get Rose the hell out of here, I think. Or do I keep her at a distance where she can at least shoot this one damn guy? Oh, shit. It, it, it can move. It can move to there. Easily. This is out of range, though, so I think I just need to stick you somewhere where can't get to you. Although now that I think about it and realize that the cultist probably can move that far and can probably still get to you. Shit. I'm wigging out about what the cultist is going to do. I'm quite nervous about that. Shit, of course, of course. Damn it. That's enough to be KO'd, hey? And I I can't... I literally cannot end this... This turn or anything, so that's... Stuck like that, I believe. God damn. Well. That sucks to have lost a character already. There's no way this works, hey? Shit. Really wanted to make that work. <laughs> oh, come on. Damn it. That was a stupid decision. I should have went for the guaranteed kill. I don't know why I did that. I didn't really think about it. I didn't realize one was a zombie too as well, so obviously it does more damage. It would have been made way more sense to kill that one. Uh, that was very ill-conceived. And I'm gonna, I'm about to pay for it. Oh. Yeah, repeatedly paying for that horrible mistake. Hey! I always like when you pull out that brilliant move, though. That's real good for me. Oh, you evaded it. Nice! I was worried because I was gonna get stuck in one place like that. I didn't want to have to deal with that. Alright, well, I can get in close to here super easily. So that's happening no matter what. And now I can just wait for this guy to start walking his way over and I'll just like... Oh crap, he's healing himself again. I was just thinking like, I'll be able to just keep my distance and just like, get a shot off here and there and it'll be fine. Yeah, repair kit. I could maybe find somewhere on the map where I can like, run, shoot, run, shoot. Uh... Yeah, I'm gonna try it at least. This thing can probably start uh, hitting me with its spores though and holding me in place. This is a sloppy battle. This one is not going together particularly well. Why did I think I was safe in that particular spot? That was very dumb. I thought I had plopped myself in a spot where I was totally safe. Now I'm kind of boned. I, uh, I can repair and shoot. That's all I can do. It's a big waste, but that's what I'm stuck doing now. Oh, and you got... It, did he retaliate and you evaded? I couldn't quite tell exactly what just happened there. Uh, because I didn't think he would retaliate unless... Oh, god damn it. Now he need to uh, reload, too. I didn't think he could retaliate unless... It was a melee attack, but maybe when it's even when it's an attack that's point blank like that, even if you're using a ranged weapon, he can still get you. Hmm. Well, I should probably go run down into this corner or something. So I don't get spored again at least. Yeah, it's okay. I'm sure you've lost some blood. It's not that much. You can you'll live. It'll be fine. I just wanted to get free the spore thing, and it was like, maybe on the off chance, if I run very far away, the spore thing won't be able to get me, but it was pretty certain that it would. Wow, that went god-awful, didn't it? 
I had so many evades. I swear I had more evades than that. Nine turns. That was a terrible battle. Oh, I hope I get a dog. Oh, look at that. Just a bunch of random crap. Shitty crap. Head bowed. Uh, you sit down, drained, so tired. You look up. A black dog trots towards you. Is this one of the dogs we've had before? We've had Donut and one other one. Fenris. Yeah, Fenris is the other one we've had. Come on, boy. We've got work to do. Well, shit. I do like his goggles. His goggles are awesome. But, uh, yeah. What? I can level up Fenris? I had no idea. This fluffy fur. Zero armor, though. Crap. <laughs> well, nuts. I think we really need to, uh repair ourselves as much as possible here and and try and carry on I need to go to the recruit thing now and I just really hope I don't have to deal with a battle on the way to it I'll avoid any battles I come across the village was obviously abandoned years ago it's well it's well is silted up the roofs of the huts are falling in you search the huts in vain for anything useful a loud call makes you jump Leonora is standing in the courtyard of the largest house and is waving you over excitedly on the ground in front of her, you see a stone slab. It's weird, because it's talking as if there's two people. Nope, it's just her and a dog. <laughs> you see a stone slab with an iron ring in its center, possibly the entrance to a cellar? I'll pull it and just really hope it's not a battle. Try as you might, you can't move it. Fair enough. There was probably going to be zombies down there anyways. Racing along... Uh, something splashes on your windshield. Your radiator has boiled over. You step on the brakes and get out to investigate the damage. Fortunately, the engine's in good working order. You take a forced brake. Look for the radiator cap in the desert sand as you wait for the engine to cool down. With new water in the cooler, you continue your journey. There's one guy who is like a car specialist, but you seem to always know how to repair your car even when you don't have him. Ah, oh, you find a windblown hut among a few ancient, barely recognizable graves. As you approach, you feel the, feel the hair on your hackles rising. Large puddles of blood have congealed in the sand around the hut, turning it a reddish brown. You see bones and skull fragments, as well as scraps of cloth that might come from German uniforms. No, don't go in. What are you doing? A rotten wooden door squeaks on its hinges, probably from a gust of wind, but your, to your ears it sounds like a warning. Yeah, I'm not messing with that. Are you kidding me? It's just me and my dog right now. And probably I'm going to have to fight to pick up this next guy. Oh, as you explore the ruins of the deserted village, you almost stumble over a small group of cultists sleeping on the ground. You see a wooden chest in their midst. What might it contain? I'm so tempted to try and steal it, but I think I'm just going to continue on. It's too risky at this stage. We'll see what's going on here. As you approach the huts, you see a familiar figure waving to you from the middle of the village. It's Brunhilda. Is that really you? I heard you were around here somewhere. Thought you might need some help. For sure. Get on board. Uh, she doesn't have... Oh, yeah, she can. She can do repair kits. Okay, in that case, you start overseeing repair kits, and I'll put Leonora in charge of med kits. Recruit 10 characters. Nice. Everyone gets a little experience from that, even. Hey, everyone leveled up from that. That's even better. Yeah, you can start doing med kits. You can start doing armor. That's really good for me. Uh, accuracy with the assault rifle or assault rifle damage. I'm going to go damage, I think. Seeing as that one zombie kill that I thought for sure was going to happen and then didn't. Uh, vitality. Yeah, I want you to have the vitality bonus. Just keep that pup alive. Uh, let's see. Shotgun basics or grenade basics. Oh, I do kind of hate that you are knife only. And right now for this particular adventure, I kind of need you to be focused on this. Like, if I skip this, does this become grenade basics? Because it doesn't matter if you have grenade damage if you don't have anything else, you know? Um, I kind of need you to learn shotgun, I think. I also gave away those grenades, 
But I don't have either. It's not like I'm walking around with a shotgun. I think I'm going to go shotgun, though. The grenades are awesome, but it would be real nice if she could use some kind of weapon, you know? For now, she's going to be stuck with knives only, but that's... We'll make do, you know? I don't actually re-go through these stops, do I? Not really, hey? Now I gotta figure this out. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It doesn't matter, so I might as well go through the one where I've already stepped through one of these. We need fuel, big time. Thanks for pointing that out. The desert wind whistle whistles dismally over the old burial ground. How long has it been since humans last set foot in this godforsaken place? Your questions answered faster than you ex expected. You have disturbed a group of cultists from the grisly ritual. They attack immediately. Oh dear God. Why is there so many? I have to fight 11 of them? I just fought like four of them and I got messed up. It was something like four. It didn't go well though. I'm not too happy about this little combo that I'm stuck dealing with, though. Are any of them the infected? They're all just regular zombies. I'm curious why in this particular map or whatever I'm just running into, like, regular old zombies so much. I guess you're going in... You're going in... Toe-to-toe. -to -toe. She can do so much damage that crit chance with that is really high, but even so, I'm gonna go for the bleed just in case. Guess it was worthwhile. God, she's terrible to take on a zombie adventure, because she just has to deal with that all the time. Is this guy just standing in front of this? He's kind of in the open there. So can I stick you? Oh, you're not the one with double tap. In that case, it won't matter then, will it? Uh, I think I'm going to hang you back then a little bit. I, I basically need her... Ah, sure. <laughs> and, uh, Fenris, I hope that you gained a little bonus attack when you've leveled up, that you're strong enough that you can, like, one-shot one of these things. Perfect. That's not always going to work out for me, but that one worked out quite well, so all these will die. I basically have to try and make sure she's only going into these when she can kill it on that hit, you know? Because I don't want to risk her getting uh, retaliated against repeatedly, repeatedly, repeatedly. It's not gonna be, not gonna last very long that way. I hope that's not a cultist. I really hate dealing with the cultists on these maps. I feel like my best bet is kind of to let them come to me. Oh, there's the spore. Okay, no cultists on this particular map. Wow, okay, nice evade. That thing can shoot. It's a spore bearer too, so I guess that's why it can shoot so damn far. Brunhilda. I don't know. I might. I think I need to. Shit. I don't know. I. I have a different plan. Different plan. I'm gonna move you up slightly. I guess cover doesn't really matter as much in zombie maps. But how far can you move? If I stick you like. Here, here is where you're going, I think. Then you can still take a chance. Okay. So Brunhilde can for sure finish that guy off. What was my plan there? I'm not. I had a. I had a plan that it made sense to do that first. Now I'm not entirely sure what I was going for. Instead, I'm just gonna run you in and try and try and get the kills. Uh, I don't want to risk the dog. He has no armor or anything, right? So I think I don't want to stick him in the middle of all that. Instead, I'll just go for the guaranteed kill. Maybe him and Leonora can kind of pair up throughout this battle, have each other's back, work together to get, like, guaranteed kills and stuff in the instances where they don't get the one-shots. 31! Shit, he got a critical on her. Well, that's bad. That makes things a lot more uh, touch and go, doesn't it? I'll probably want to run over there and do a med kit on her, I think. I would rather run over and help. Oh, shit. Can you burst fire from here? Oh, not, not there you can't. In this case, I think I'm going to burst fire them. 
Nice, kill 50 zombies, Viduti. Nice, hopefully I pick him up along the way then. Uh, Brunhilda, you can stab and and uh, repair kit yourself. So I think that's the best thing I can do there. Luckily she has like an insane amount of health, so it's not as big of a concern as it could be otherwise. 57 health, that thing's got a lot more health than I thought it did. But if I just get the dog chipping away at it, oh shit, I hope that thing can't walk up too closely. If I start getting a bleed off on it though, in a couple turns, it should be able to chip away, so maybe I don't have to sit there and like manually ensure I'm getting these shots off. Nice, that zombie couldn't make it to it. I can pretty much probably just run the dog out of here now. And I think I'm gonna absolutely want to see just how many things are kind of creeping up on him. Oh, bless you and your your evade, you good good boy. Cause I kind of didn't prepare for the fact that there was a good chance you were gonna get locked into that. Uh, Brunhilda, this is the only one you're gonna be able to attack. So I'll get you in there. Make sure you're getting your nice melee kill in. And then I can help out here. Is this just a zombie one as well? It is. Oh, but I gotta reload. Nuts. Oh, the bleed only lasted like the one turn, so that's already gone. Fenris could kill this. I think he'll be okay. Damn you. Alright, I'm running the dog out. <laughs> I was hoping that the bleed would still be applied here. It looks like the bleed wore off. I was hoping that that would be a one-shot kill. It's not worth keeping the dog in there. He's too at risk, I would say, currently. Nice, you shitty zombies. I really like when you're bad at what you do. It uh, makes things just so much easier for me when you just suck real bad like that. Perfect. 56. That might be like the single strongest one I've ever seen. Uh, in this case, do you know what? Probably we can get you like extra experience for getting a, a kill there. Hey, kill 75 undead. Yeah, I'll take I'll take that actually. Nice. Those four bandages uh, presumably will come in in handy, so I'm glad to have those. That should be everything, right? That was decent, right? That was his damage dealt. I'm curious about the damage against me. Two crits? It must not account, uh, account evades against the big spore bearer thing, which kind of sucks, because that would be like one of the only ways I'm going to unlock Fantismo, whatever he's called. Oh, nice. Couple of useful things here, and then just a bunch of like goodies. Fuel's kind of what I really needed though. So that's a bit disappointing to not have that. Who's better off here? Crit chance is higher, accuracy is lower, the damage range is a little weird on this one. It's very broad. Uh, I think I'll probably just stick with the one I have, although this guarantees higher damage. This one has the possibility of the higher overall. Yeah, I don't know if evades of the spore bearers counts, which really sucks because that makes it very, very difficult to actually unlock that guy. Oh, I only have two fuel? Are you kidding me? I guess we can go on foot for like the last two there. Hopefully people have good endurance. Oh, I should have applied some bandages and stuff. From afar, you see rows of tombstones in the wasteland. This ancient desert graveyard is desolate and deserted. Man, there was some weird tongue twisteriness to that. There was a lot of D's repeatedly. Uh, neither of you is particularly better with the repair kit skill, so it doesn't matter who uses it on who, it would seem. Uh, Leonora, use on Brunhilda. Everyone's looking pretty good, yeah? Do you know what? You should probably heal up Fenris a little bit. Oh! Healer 2 achievement. Which, it didn't come up in the corner there, it just came up through the Steam thing. So what do I get for that? Restore 1000 HP was what it was for, but I, I guess... Weird. 
Weird, it registered it as a Steam achievement, but not in the trophies of the game, so I don't really know what happened there. That's interesting, I've never seen that happen before. Halting near a group of bushes, you suddenly notice a snake slithering next to your feet, you cautiously move on. Oh, continue on foot, we're so close, we gotta make it count, they're gonna start taking uh, damage with each move. 19, oh god, they took more than I thought. Brotherhood seized control of the old abandoned mine. They appear to be preparing an unholy ritual here. Shit, I didn't want to have to get into a fight right now. Or... who? I don't know, because I could maybe get fueled, but no, I'm just going to hurt myself, right? S smash the idol. Ooh. Yeah, if I, if I open fire, then I have to fight a bunch of guys throwing grenades at me. If I wait for the ritual to end, I probably have to fight grenade guys and zombies. I'm not in great shape right now. Oh, it goes straight past your uh, your armor, hey? Oh my god, damn. The dog must be alive with like one health left. Vultures circle the rocks. That's never a good sign in this inhospitable wilderness. With weapons drawn, you carefully approach a dried up water hole that you spotted among the rocks from afar. I don't remember how this played out. I feel like this wasn't a battle. Startled vultures take flight, croaking their displeasure and exposing the scene of the rudimentary camp. You see various signs of an uneven fight, battered wooden crates, a slashed backpack, and the mortal remains of a man in a tropical suit. His body is perforated with multiple stab wounds. In the dead man's chest pocket, you find a folded newspaper article entitled Shocking Blood Rites in the Egyptian Desert, written by a certain Percy Ashton. Right, this guy is him. Murdered by poison, kidnapped, and but by the Brotherhood sucks. Sinister powers behind the secret society. The only thing that's certain is that the Kenosha Brotherhood is increasingly moving their activities and the Middle East, blah, blah, blah. You search the dead man's belongings, you find that he's Percy, Percy Ashton, you bury the man and swear you'll avenge his death or something like that. Probably something meaningful or heroic like that, you know? So, is there anything here that's just going to hook us up with fuel at the very beginning? After your exhausting journey through the endless Egyptian desert, you finally cross the border into Sudan. And it, uh, things are remote and dusty, and you don't know what's going on. Hook me up, please, with fuel. In the courtyard, you see a rusted wreck of a car. The tank still appears to have a little gasoline. Oh, you take what you can. That's something. I, it's probably going to be like three. Or hopefully five, if I'm like very, very lucky. Three... Ah, I was hoping I would find fuel, like, more than once there. Damn. I'm not set up particularly well here, are I? I'll never make it to here on foot, because I'll run out of gas, like, up here. Well, I'm going to leave things in suspense. Because I don't know. Everyone's pretty well toast. And I'm out of bandages and things like that. So if I run out of fuel, I'm just screwed. I, yeah, there's uh, a few things, oh, that really need to come together well for me here. Not in great shape overall, but we'll, we're gonna, we're gonna put it off and see how things go. Maybe we get lucky, who knows? It's always unpredictable in the, in the ways of the path. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again soon.